What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumia 9 new feature tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about the new feature that allows you to add fur as a material to objects in your Lumion renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first off we're going to use one of the Lumion example models so that you can follow along as we do this. So to open that up, if you don't have it open already, you can just go into your examples and you can just open up this villa Amonzi file and this is a great one for practicing um, furnishing different models and stuff like that and so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna furnish out a room and in this case we're gonna furnish out this front room right here um, that has a great view out onto the ocean in this model and so when we do that we're actually gonna use the fur function. So I've come in here and added a little bit of some books on a bookshelf and a picture on the wall and then these two chairs just using the built-in Lumion furnishings um, one thing though with the Lumion fur is it's a material and so part of the problem with that is if you try to place one of the Lumion models so in this case let's say we picked like a let's say we picked this bed model and whoops I have mass placement on we don't want that we just want a single placement and so we're just going to place a bed in here. Well, the problem with this is the Lumion default models don't let you adjust their materials. So you can see how I can't click on this to adjust a material um, because these are just brought in as kind of a separate model. Um, so they're kind of self-contained and you can't adjust that. So we're going to bring in a model from outside instead. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this out. And in this case, I'm going to bring in a bed model that I found in the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So it's just the 1921 bed by Sierra Movius. And uh, I will link to that in the notes down below, but this is a model that you can download. And the reason I like it is because specifically in this case, the uh, blanket that's on top is a separate material and so that's what we want so we're just going to import that and you can use the import function to bring that in so you just find that model and then double click on it in this case I already brought it into my library so we're going to go into my imports and in my furnishing section I have this bed so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this bed in and uh, you can hold the R key in order to rotate this when you first bring it in um, which makes bringing this in a lot easier. And then we'll go ahead and we'll deselect everything and we'll go into select mode. And so if you look at this right now, this isn't super remarkable. It's just kind of a bed with a, um, with a cover on top of it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the materials option in order to actually make this like a furry blanket. And so the way that we do that is we're going to go in and we're going to click on materials and in the material editor we're going to select this blanket. You can see how it's in here as its own material which is great. That means we can apply the fur material. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the nature section and you're going to go down and you're going to find the option for fur. And you can see how the option for fur is going to give you a bunch of different options of different kinds of furs that you can apply to this. So in this case for example if I click on this black and white fur you can see how this gets applied and matched really well to this face so we have this we have this realistic fur on here and you can move back and forth between your different options and try those out one of the other things I really like about this though is you can also if you double click on it you can adjust things like the color um, you can adjust so these actually act a lot like the grass. You can adjust the gravity force, meaning you can adjust how much these lay down or don't, as well as how much all the little spines in the fur bend. So you can see how this is fully adjustable. You can adjust how big or how small those are, as well as the length of each one of those pieces of fur. And then the color map that's on it, you can also adjust that scale by clicking and dragging this. So you can see how as I click and drag this, um, the color map itself is actually adjusting. And if you hold the shift key, just like anything else in Lumion, um, it'll move slower when it adjusts this map. So I'm finding holding the shift is making this a lot easier. You can also adjust the, the velvetiness or how much it's going to reflect. And then finally, you can also adjust the roughness. So you can see how that's kind of adjusting around these edges. But you can see how this material is fully editable. And so that's great. You can see how it has color maps and everything else um, associated with it. But the other thing we can do is in addition to that, we can also apply our own materials. 
And so what we want to do now is we actually want to bring in a rug and apply a custom material to it. And so the way that we're going to do that, or a custom map to it, so the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and import another model. I have kind of a placeholder carpet model in here that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to bring this in. And this is just a model out of the 3D warehouse. It's just basically a plane with a material applied to it. And then we're going to adjust it from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it up. So I'm going to make it bigger because I really want this to kind of cover my floor or at least part of my floor over here. So I'm going to move this back over here. You can see I'm holding the shift key to keep this on that plane. And we'll scale this up a bit more, I think. And then we'll move it back. And so we have this rug in here, which is the same thing as uh, bringing this bed in. And we're just going to apply this material. And in this case, you can go to your material library and you can select the fur option. And again, you can do kind of the same thing where you can adjust your fur in here. So I can create kind of this white fur material um, and I can double click on it and I can come in here and adjust this. Um, so again, that's no different than what we did before. You can adjust the first size and the length and all the different parts and pieces there. So one thing about that, though, that you can do, and it gets a little bit tricky because I don't know if there's a 100% a way to adjust this mapping yet, but you can apply a custom color map. So in this case, this is a material I downloaded from polygon.com, um, which is a great website. A lot of the actual textures contained within Lumion come from polygon.com, but I'm going to apply the color map to this. And so when I do that, it's going to take a second to load because that's a pretty high resolution thing. But I'm going to turn the colorization down. And as you can see, you can actually use this to create your own kind of shag carpet rugs. The one thing I'm not 100% clear on, though, is I don't know if there's a way yet where you can actually adjust how this is mapped on this face. So I've kind of looked around for it, and I couldn't find it. So um, you guys let me know. If you know of a way to do this, I'd love to hear about it. But you can see how this allows me to create a real custom rug using a texture that I want. But I'm not 100% sure if there's a way to like fine adjust this to where exactly where you want it to be on this face. So more to come on that, but this gives you kind of a good idea of how the fur materials work inside Lumion 9. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this interesting to you? Are you using Lumion 9 or the fur? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.